Hi guys, this is Malucha and welcome back to Dauntless. Yes, I know, uh, it's a heavy title, Dauntless going offline two days. Uh, but don't worry, uh, for the guys who don't uh, follow Twitter, they already know. For the guys who watch Twitter even less than me, um, this is what's gonna happen. So yeah, Dauntless at Play Dauntless, April the 8th or 16th. Don't forget to wrap up your hunt passes, they kind of warn you. Uh, to wrap up and uh, make swift haste if you do need some more Dauntless Play Dauntless Extended Maintenance. And as we look in preparation for next week's big update, we will be, we will be performing an extended maintenance on all Dauntless accounts. You will be unable to sign into the game forums or store during this time. Begins April the 22th, uh, 22th? Yeah, uh, at uh, 10 for me it's 7 in the evening. And it ends the 24th uh, at, uh, yeah, at 10, 7 in the evening for Brussels times, I think uh, it was called. You can see it here uh, for the local start times here uh, for around the world. If you want to look it up, uh, just check out the Twitter. So it is going offline for two days as they are uh, mentioning it here. And then actually when I scroll up, there was a nice picture, a handful of stylus illustrations. Yeah, the Twitter is, is definitely something worth. But I've just noticed this one, seven minutes ago. Path of the Slayer update less than a week away. We're thrilled to share another piece of what's coming with it. In this article, new progression, the new hunt structure and new quests and more. Read it on. So yeah, I, I, I didn't really expect this one actually, but uh, let's, let's read it. Uh, Path of the Slayer. Uh, this is normally I read it in advance to just know what's in there and to already give my general perspective in my brain. But this is actually, uh, yeah, this is uh, both of us reading it at the same time, I guess. Uh, Path of the Slayer Rise, April 24th. A progression has been completely reworked. New tutorial cards added to early progression. Uh, to new tutorials for early progression, okay. New map screen and new hunt structure. The dire and regular gear now share a single upgrade track. New upgrade materials, orbs and arc stones. Okay, and new end of the hunt screen. So new end of the hunt screen, we already knew. The new upgrade materials is something new, uh, actually. The dire and regular gear, we knew. New map screen, I'm not really sure what they mean with that. And new hunt structure. Uh, starting fresh, the world of the Shattered Isles is changing. With the Path of the Slayer update at April the 24th, you'll gain access to a completely reworked progression system with new quests, a new map, new patrols, and a new end of the hunt screen and more. Wherever you, whether you're new to Dauntless or a veteran behemoth basher, this is a path, a patch to look forward to. New progression: the War Pike wounds, hammers, staggers, eight wisps give you a boost of energy. If you're a veteran slayer, you know these things, you know your name. But how did you learn them? Chances are it wasn't from Cat Sorel. With our reworked quest and progression, slayers will now get the info they need to start mastering skills. Early on, we've structured our starter quests to put rookies through the basics and update our tutorial cards with new graphics and cleaner instructions. Equipment loadout. Get in gear, access the main menu, escape and select the loadout to ensure you have the most appropriate armor, weapons, lantern and supplies on every hunt. Simply activate the category of gear you wish to equip and you will see the options available. Uh, so equipment loadout. But I don't see get in gear. So this is you making a loadout, I think. By the time you ex uh, exit the sheltered frontier and start to consider your first real hunt, you should, as Cat would say, know your axe from a pole in the ground if you don't let us know. Veteran questers, when the Path of the Slayer update lands on April the 24th, you will immediately gain access to new quests and progression system. Slayers who have already completed the tutorial will be able to skip it this time around and go right to the Maelstrom. Behemoths and hunts you unlock before Path of the Slayer will remain unlocked. So what they're basically saying is uh, they want even the veteran uh, players, the veteran questers to actually play. Because that was something I was kind of worried about um, as a veteran player. I uh, played this from day one. I've did all the quests and if they put in new quests or change the quests I wasn't able to gonna do them unless I actually uh, just deleted my account and started fresh but they are actually 
making it so that every uh, everybody is gonna do the new quests how good you are at them at completing them is up to you of course but uh yeah everything you have unlocked still remains unlocked but you are able to do all the quests this is gonna be so much fun hunt changes as you walk the path of the slayer in ob 0.1 uh, so it is a point one i'm still looking for the 0.7.0 you'll be referencing a new map as you play here's what you'll see when you hammer that m key oh my god the map of the shattered isles okay nice cool shot threat level it says level five the bizarre behemoth feeds a raw aether uh, 200 rams recommended power is 200 so they even recommend the power for this behemoth uh, lesser Gnasher, Gnasher, Shrike, Quill Shot, and I'm Start Hunt Five Hunt. The sheltered frontiers remains intact, but many of the islands beyond have been pulled into larger maelstrom. Don't worry, you will still have access to the same behemoths you hunt now, though some of them may be in different locations. Threat levels. Not sure if you're up to a hunt now, you can check a hunt's threat level from the map. Selecting a hunt will break it down even further, showing you a recommended gear score and your current target's strengths and weaknesses. You do not have to meet a hunt gear score to proceed, but it's a good way to get a feel for how easy or how hard a hunt will be. This is actually pretty good information uh, for newer players. Uh, well, somebody like me is gonna go in with uh, complete Maelstrom uh, HQ gear. Well, uh, well. HQ gear, so uh, heroic gear. Uh, hunt types. The old system of patrols, pursuits, and expeditions has been revised in the path of the Slayer. Expeditions have been removed from the hunt board. New elemental patrols have been added. Check the new material sections below for more info. And pursuits have been reorganized to make it easier to find behemoths. Just go to the pursuit, select an element, and choose the behemoth you want to hunt. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Crafting changes one path. What have you? What what do you get when you combine a Gnasher mask with a rage hammer? A raging gna a gra <laughs> crash hammer. Oh my god. Um, my throat is getting really dry. Uh, my smile is not uh, leaving my face. Uh, Weaponsmith Wills Bor Borman. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> raging Gnasher. Three eighty Gnasher. Uh, 10 damage versus behemoth, elemental attunements, currently equipped. So it's gonna be one Gnasher weapon, one Quill Shot weapon, one Shrike weapon. Uh, it's not gonna longer be the Moon Reaver Shrike, I guess. Because the Gnasher is above 7 and that would be above, uh, that would be Maelstrom level, uh, basically. Uh, not the heroic one, but the normal Maelstrom level. Um, so usually it would say a different name. Upgrading the Gnasher Hammer. Instead of upgrading both a regular weapon, Gnasher Masher, and a separate dire weapon, the Rage Hammer, you will now move along a single track as you progress in games. Weapon will start at level 1 and can be upgraded to level 15. But we're getting new upgrades. Because the cap now is 10. Holy hell, this is... Uh, again, my smile is getting bigger. Uh, any progress you've already made on your weapons and armor will be applied to your new gear. Hell fucking yeah. Uh, sorry for my language, but <laughs> something I was wondering in the past week a lot. Like, what's gonna happen with the gear we have? What's gonna happen with the weapons we already have? Because I have... Well, I've geared everything to level 5. And Dauntless is shutting down again. I need to... Um, no, go back it and we're gonna get the other screen as well in a second i'll quit it i need to just stop and log off i always forget I was kind of way too excited for this um so this is really good so uh they're gonna basically see and combine probably and then if you put in all the work before and you put in all the work till 10 they'll probably make it 15. Uh, just kind of makes sense uh true power levels may be slightly different you'll have to trust one on the math New materials. Upgrading weapons in the path of the Slayer involves new materials as well. And the elemental orbs have have replaced many of the more behemoth specific parts required to upgrade low level gear. Elemental orbs. Okay. 
Okay, you can earn them from Elemental Patrol or by slaying behemoths that share an orb elements. Arc stones also have been added to the loot list. Dull arc stones can, uh, yeah, dull arc stones are earned from dire behemoths and used to upgrade mid-tier gear. Moira will send you on a quest to fetch your first handful. Once you reach even higher gear levels, you'll be collecting shiny arc stones, heroic and peerless arc stones, heroic plus. So yeah, we are getting uh, a different a different uh, tier uh, in the game as well. They are spoiling us with so much. This is this is insane. Uh, can we see that somewhere here? Uh, okay, so these are the probably the two elements uh, that they are talking about. Uh, the regular one, and then I think, uh, well, or the regular one, this one, and then I'm not really sure which one is which, but uh, it's uh, the elemental orbs and the arc stones. I think these are the stones, these are the orbs, maybe. Uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see in a week. Uh, end of the hunt. Always last but never least, the end of the hunt screen is being redone. Lesser Ember main slain. Your rank plus plus. Time elapsed 3.10. Team rank plus plus. Hunting party. Meta Crossy. Automatically leaving hunt in 113 seconds. <sighs> oh, I think I think my my heart is skipping a beat. It still doesn't say like. I saw S++ and I was like, no, aren't we getting numbers? I want to see damage done. I want to see how many staggers, who did, who interrupted what, who uh, died the most. Like, I want to see information, not how well rated the game was. Uh, information, please. Lesser and remain, time elapsed, 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, break parts, 4 eight to two to six of the hunt pass pro progress rewards uh, bonus never down three ember main height bonus elite hunt pass two ember main height um, ember main mastery sword mastery deal five million damage to ember main so you're gonna get an entire list here of everything you are tracking right now because we can see the bar going down so it is going to be a double sword mastery and ember main mastery. You fought ember main and you used the sword, so you're going to see the progression bars of both. Okay, so, so that's how it's going to work. Automatically leave hunt in 105 seconds, leave hunt now. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So you can wait and see through the information you want and maybe actually speak to the other uh, slayers and compare. Or you can say, I don't really give a crap, just leave hunt now. That's actually pretty, pretty good. So yeah, this uh, this end menu is uh, is awesome. <laughs> end of the hunt reward screen. Instead of the old style break part display, you'll now have access to all kinds of information. On the left, loot is broken down into parts, gatherables, and bonus rewards, while the right panel shows you progress on quests and mastery objectives. Maximizing rewards. The path of the slayer comes with a new opportunities to maximize your hunt rewards. Breaking behemoth parts is still the best and most reliable way to earn the unique materials you need. But if you want to earn a little extra, there are now three ways to score bonus rolls. Stay alive. Slayers now start every hunt with three bonus loot rolls. Every time you're down, you lose one roll in a hunt above. And the Slayer stays up the entire hunt and earned all three of her rolls. Stay active. Daily quests are gone, but the daily rewards are alive and well in form of patrol chests. Slayers will earn a set of number per day and can open them by do going on patrols. Chests will cap out after a bit though, so don't wait too long to crack them open. Go Elite. Owning the Hunt Pass Elite track will also grant you a bonus loot roll. Just a little something to say thanks for supporting us. Loot roll? The path when you're opening the night breaking beam at parts is still the best way. Need to earn a little extra. There are now three ways to score bonus bonus rolls. You're gonna be able to roll. Are there gonna be dice in the game? <laughs> I'm really not really sure what I need to. Do. But more parts, guys. More parts. <laughs> Extended maintenance in preparation for this big patch, which also includes mastery. Dauntless will be undergoing an extended two-day maintenance. During this time, we'll be updating every Slayer account to make sure their weapons and armor and other items are safely translated to the new progression system. That means you will not be able to sign into your account or Dauntless from 10 a.m. PT on April the 22, 20, 20. 22nd uh, uh, to 10 a.m. Uh, uh, PT on April the 24th. 
Uh, we know it's long, but we promise it's worth it. In the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts on everything, including here. Uh, hit us up on the official Dauntless forum, leave a comment on our Dauntless or tweet us at, at Play it Dauntless. We inc we're incredibly excited for Path of the Slayer and we hope you enjoy it. Clear skies, Slayers. Thoughts, feedbacks, join the discussion. Related articles, mastery system and the new loadout. Holy freaking hell. That's all I can say. I tried to make, because I know a lot of people skip away because I kind of ramble on sometimes and I talk slowly. Uh, I try to go through it as fast as possible, but my voice is completely cracking up right now. This is freaking amazing. Guys, I would I would go to play Dauntless, News Patch, Path of the Slayer, uh, News Path of the Slayer and look through it over and over. I'm gonna do it for the next few days while I still uh, try to level up, because now that I know that your gear, uh, if you max it to level five, and then your uh, Maelstrom gear, you max it to level 10, you're instantly gonna get uh, level 15 gear. Uh, for maybe the Heroic Plus, I'm not sure if that's gonna be in here now. But yeah, there is so much information in here. There is so much new content and an, an amazing screen, an amazing screen. Give us numbers. <laughs> give us, give us, give us freaking numbers. Maximize reward, extended maintenance. Uh, yeah, the two days are gonna be worth it. Make sure you play towards your um, towards your progression of the event because the event is gonna end, and I'm gonna take a look uh, a little slower to Path of the Slayer and see if I didn't miss anything. And there you have it, guys. Uh, Path of the Slayer is arriving next week as well, together with uh, our mastery system. This is indeed, as they say, the biggest content they ever brought into this game, except for maybe just creating the game. Maybe that was a bit bigger, but this is this is freaking huge. Why am I looking the other way? Uh, anyway, I had a time to drink. Uh, my voice is still cracking. I hope you enjoyed this episode, um, I definitely go look into Path of the Slayer, try to learn as much as possible uh, when it starts that you can just dig in and just get it all done, because it's gonna be a hustle to get everything done. I cannot wait till it arrives. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the episode, as I said, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.